Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so um, if you got scrap paper and book pages, let's make some fun things today. I had this idea, it is the beginning of the year, it's cleanup time in the craft room, but instead of going through and organizing every one of, one of my drawers with you and cleaning in them out and showing the deep clean, which I've done before in previous years, I thought I'd focus more this year on orga organization of supplies. Why is that? because I need organization of supplies. Uh, there's nothing like having tons of supplies, but you never touch them because they're piled on top of each other. They're hard to access. They're not in usable, easily accessible sizes. So today I thought we'd play with something that a lot of people might have hanging around their craft room, a bunch of scrap pa uh, scrapbook paper. And uh, you love it, you, we all love it. We're entranced by it when we're out there. So we're looking like, oh, this is so pretty. This would be great for Bop, bop, and then it goes on a shelf and we forget about it. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some of these and cut them into some more usable sizes that I might actually grab and go as I'm sitting here making a journal. Maybe I'll have a pile of these. I'm not, Okay, I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to cut them. All right, so I'm just going to take a random sampling. They don't, they don't have to match, not match. It doesn't matter. I just want variety and um you know or color tones that i know that i can use in any journal like anything that's a neutral base is easy to work with that looks usable i don't and that's fine if i've got a bunch of duplicates maybe i'll just put them aside for another time um so we'll just pick out some fun pieces and uh, these are going to be used for backgrounds for this particular um little mini project this is an easy project anybody could do this this is a beginner project junk journal making sometimes you know we make junk journals in waves or in sections um, sometimes you don't sit down and make the entire journal in one process sometimes you'll be making the actual book other times you'll be making um, a bunch of embellishments or i mean you can but um sometimes we find it we, I, talk, I can't talk for everybody. I'm just going to talk for myself. Sometimes I find it relaxing on my brain to just work on little things or just work on big things. So this will be, I would call, a little thing today. Let's just see where this all takes us. There's just some interesting paper. I don't know what that is. We'll put that over there. See, I don't even know what's in my papers. Um, see, here's something I wouldn't normally use, but if I use it for backgrounds, then it, the words don't really matter because they're just going to be peeking around. So that's a usable piece. Here's, I, I had plan, grand plans for this. It never came to fruition. I don't know what, these are all folded up for. We'll just put them over there. And uh, let's just grab a bunch of some pretty neutral backgrounds. Very nice. I love this paper. See, I forgot I had this. See, I'm getting excited about the paper. I totally forgot I had. Go shopping at home. Let's go shopping at home. Let's see what we got. We got stuff. I know we got stuff. I know you've been out there. <laughs> Do I have that one yet? Not yet. Okay, let's just grab a couple more. I don't know how many we're going to do. I'll just make sure we have enough. So that's my little random sampling to play with first. I don't even want to admit how tall my scrapbook paper pile is. It's embarrassing. Okay, it's probably two feet tall. Yeah, okay. So we're going to be working with some scrapbook paper this year. All right, so let's organize these guys down into something manageable. That's probably a little too thick. We just grab maybe three or four of these at one time and you know use your cutter of choice today i'm going to be guillotining it move that out of the way pull over little mr guillotine maybe i need to back up a little bit so you can see all the grand excitement here what i've got my guillotine will probably cut 15 pages or so one two three four i'll give you a little more here uh, was that the one yeah five six Okay, let's go with six. I want to make sure I get nice, sharp edges. Crisp. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do, so isn't it weird how sometimes scrapbook paper is different sizes? Like, like we have like a little quarter inch hanging there. It has that little extra piece. You know the mysterious extra little bit past the dot, dot, dot line? We're not going to worry about that. We're just going to carry on because the measuring is not important. Okay. So... What I'm thinking is, I'm thinking journal cards. I'm thinking journal cards in my head right now. So I'm just going to cut these for what I think would be some interesting sizes for journal cards. They don't all need to be the same size. I would say that, you know, um, first one might be about two inches. Maybe the next one might be three inches. You can do two and a half. So you can do big fat four, four inch ones. Totally fine. It's all good. Okay. And then you might want to decide how tall you want them. 
And this is all dependent on what your choice is. There's no official. Maybe there is an official out there, but I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to make some what I think. I think maybe I'll cut these. No, these would be tall ones. Okay. All right, we'll make some tall ones. See, they're not even exactly the same size. That's okay, but I'm just cutting them up so I've got something usable, something that I can grab, something that I don't have to go over to my two-foot pile and pull apart. I can always trim these down if I want them a little shorter when I'm making them, but this is a good little base thing to have. So here we go. We are in happy land today with the bases. So this is a mass-making project of some journal cards. Okay, so we can move this as this floats out of the way so easily. Here we go. Oh, look, I found some I forgot. <laughs> All right, let me cut those two. So we already have a nice stack. And these can be stored in a shoe box or, a, you know, a little plastic container or something like that. That makes it easy uh, for you to grab and go. All right. Over there. So, I mean, just with those, look, we have a nice stack already. So it doesn't take long to build up a nice little pile of things that you can play with. So there we go, we've got, we've got toys, we've got toys. Okay, so the next stage of this, which is very easy, is um, just grab a book page or something that you'd like to glue on top of this. I have a, a pile of things over here. Let me, let me dig them out, they're right here. Um, I just grabbed this pile. Okay, so this is from the Heartthrobs book. We made a, uh, it's a, a book of poems all about little like heartthrob poems and I love using this because they're so pretty and they're, they're, they, they fit nicely on journal cards and things like that. But if, you don't have to use that if you have a um, dictionary page or maybe uh, mechanical engineering pages, pages from plays, old magazines, uh, any book page will do. Um, it can be a music page, it can be a dictionary, it can be a fiction story, cover pages from books. Um, mandalas, uh, you know, interesting magazine pages that maybe you've collected over the years. So just grab a pile. Don't be too particular now. All right. So let's just start with number one. Okay. So you can be, um, let's see, do I want to use the ruler? Which went where? Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. Don't knock the coffee over, Pam. Don't knock the coffee over. Okay. Uh, so actually I think I'll start with, a. A heartthrob book, a page from there. It's got the pretty, uh, <clears throat> um, maybe I'll even take two or three from there. I think, oh, no, they're different widths, so okay, we'll take one. Um, and I think I, what I'm going to do is just tear this one with the old tearing ruler. And it doesn't even have to be perfect, you don't have to get exactly the right piece or anything it's okay just to get parts of things that's an aesthetic all to its own okay now when you're starting to get here maybe you want this is a nice way to grab a pencil this will save you a lot of heartache <laughs> with your heart throbs um okay can you see probably not okay and I'm just going to make a mark where I want to cut it so I can see exactly there or tear it, however you want to do it. All right. Okay. There we go. Well, that's pretty quick and painless. I hope that's the way your day's going. So I like the nice little torn edges. I think that looks kind of cute. And if you want, you can, you can um, ink them. If not, you don't have to. There's no requirement. Uh, it's just a look. It's just fun. It's where's my brown? Where's my brown? Where's my brown? There it is. The bottom here is a vintage photo. Does it seem dark in here? Hold on. I'm sorry, I have maximum light on. It just seems dark. It's uh, it, okay. It's a very strange time. I'm actually recording this. This is like in the. It's like not even five o'clock in the morning. I just woke up really early, and I thought, well, let's just go craft. <laughs> you know? Do you ever have that? You're just like, uh, okay, time to craft. At the oddest times. Yeah. Who knows, right? So here I am crafting. At, uh, I actually got up around three. I don't know what I was doing, but I went to bed really, really early. And uh, um, yeah, my clock is all over the place. So I, instead of fighting it, I'm over the fighting it. I'm not gonna lay there in bed for hours going, why can't I sleep? I'm just gonna get up and craft because you know what? That's a lot more fun. Um, I can always go back to bed later. See, see, send them to bed with a kiss. That will be me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna glue that down there. And I'm going to use today me Fabrifix. No, that's not Fabrifix. This is 
Scotch Create glue stick, my favorite glue stick. I'm almost done this one. I got to get another one. Okay, now if I was really organized, I would, I would have a glue mat, but I never have that. Okay, just make sure you get the edges good. Whoop! That's all we got left of that baby. All right, let's just take you out. We'll throw you away. And so, uh, that's there. You go. I mean, this is a very basic and very simple journal card. Very easy. Very fun. Um, and, and effective and so I'm just going to make a, th a bunch of things like this and you can do more to these things like um, if you want to decorate them up a little bit more you could come along and put a rubber stamp or something on them or uh, extra things just for fun you know do things like that very very easy and, but these are great to have at the ready so that you have things that you can grab and go and do things it has a oh okay we have this on the back um, what, are you, what are you gonna do about that, Pam? What are you gonna do? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, well, I could put things there. I mean, I can just leave that, or I could just come along and glue something to it. Maybe that's probably what I'm gonna do. Um, always a good idea to check the backs, see what's going down back there. There's a nice little caramel colored page that looks sort of cool. Oh, that's cool, too. I'm, I'm falling in love with all the papers. Stop that, Pam. Stop that falling in love with the paper. Here we go. Here's something interesting. Okay, I don't know what this is from, but it's going on here. And since this has a little grid pattern, we'll just work with it. Okay. Yeah, so you just sort of play as you go. Wasn't really expecting anything on the back here, but bah ha There we go. I got something on the back. Maybe I'll even turn it into a pocket. Oh, look at me. Leveling up. See, unnecessary, but totally doable. All right. There's me, Brown. Stay close, Brown. Stay close. Don't leave me now. I need ya. <laughs> All right. There we go. Okay. And maybe for this one, where's my glue? Um, I might use the Fabrifix just because it's it's quick. Show me how quick you are, Fabrifix. It's usually the first squeeze of the day it takes a second to come out, but then you're rolling. Then you're rolling. Somebody asked me why I use this one uh, and not just put a pin in the Fabrifix bottle itself to get a thin bead of glue, but the Fabrifix bottle is much thicker and it's harder on the hand to squeeze. This is nice and soft and pliable and my hand is not that strong, so it's easier for me and I just, I love that little thing. Okay, there we go. So that's actually a little, it's a little pocket. We can tuck fun things in there. Look at us go. Okay, so that's one. And let's do another one. Okay, so here's this guy. So basically what I'm looking for is um, contrast, something that might contrast this a little bit. I know that white will contrast nicely on there. Oh, this is kind of cool. That might look neat. All right, maybe we'll try that. Let me just tear this down a bit. And you could actually take a bunch of these extra book pages and just cut those to size if you wanted to in mass too so you could just like rock these out but I'll just do it the the old slow way um because I'm kind of designing as I go here I just want to just want to have some fun with these okay that's good now here's the thing we want to decide how I don't mind if the word giggle pops out but there's a lot of other things in here like if there's a, there's some child themes in here first steps peekaboo things like that that I don't necessarily um that's not my goal if it was my goal, that's different, but it's not my goal, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to hide them. I'm going to hide them. And, um, there. All right. So let's see what we got here now. Okay. So, and again, I think I'm just going to ink. If your little inker gets dry, you can shoot it with a little water right on the dauber, and that will usually give you a nice bloom of refreshed ink that is just sitting there all dried and asleep in your in your little, uh, hmm, did I? Yeah, I think I did. I hope so. Uh, in your little, um, dauber. I, I was asking myself, did I make sure my mic is working? I think I did. So there, I think I would do something like that. And where's my glue? It's dry up fast if I don't use it. And, and it, a nice way to glue is like, go to your corners first. Okay. So that way, you know, you got your corners and then run around the world. So you know you got your edges, and then kind of come in in the middle and just slap some more glue down there. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm no, I'm no glue professional, but boy, you know, I can get that glue on there and everywhere else too. Okay, so now we have something like 
like that. Okay, so, and, and I think this one might like to be inked around the edges too, just to knock it back a little bit. It's got a little in-your-face yellow, but I think that will help age it and give it a little bit more of an antique vintage sort of appeal. I don't know if I put it on straight, that would be awesome. But, you know, we can only ask for so many miracles in the year, and we better, we better, we better you know, limit them to really, really important things. Um, and maybe I want to put a stamp, like, right in the center. I want to put something odd that would shock you, blow your mind, you're not expecting it, and what would that be? It would be a pear. I have a pear stamp here, and I'm just gonna put a pear stamp down there and see what happens. Can I do black? Should I do brown? Okay, should I do, I don't know, maybe I should do green, or let's we'll see the colors in the background. Nothing, nothing I, I can work with. How about, let's do green. Let's just be bold and do peeled, peeled paint, okay? Being very bold with my green pear. Is this very dry? Could be. I haven't used it in a while. We'll wake it up. Just water. That's it. I just have water. Nothing fancy. Oh, there's more green. There we go. Get on there, baby. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see. I mean, how bad could it be? If it doesn't work, it's only paper. Here we go. You have to make that noise. Push hard. I don't know why. Oh, oh barely there. But it's present. Definitely present. Can you see the pear? Can you see the pear? Um... I think I might do it again in another color that might amplify it a little bit more. Maybe black. Let's just be bold and try the black for fun. That should make it really pop. And it'll, it'll have a nice green background. Yeah, let's try that. What the heck? Oh, yeah, baby. Now we're talking. Look at there. We got some ink on that, baby. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I have no idea if it's going to go in the right spot, but it might look like a back behind cast shadow. Let's just see what happens. Okay, I'm going to pick it up and push it in the center. There we go. Get that imprint. Oh, yeah, baby. Now we're talking. We got pearage. Is that cool? I don't know. I think that came out really cool. So sometimes even if you can't land it peg on to cover it, it kind of gives an overcast shadow. It looks cool. Okay, that's, all. that's awesome. All right, let's just carry on with the meandering fun here. Um, so you could just sit here and bop a bunch of these out. You know, going through your, your book pages and stuff like that. Let's see what that, that's pretty. I like that. All right, maybe we'll do you. Okay, we'll just do you. Um, this book page says, everything's better in Kyoto. Yay, Kyoto. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm going to just go for the straight text right now. So get a text topper. And maybe just like one column. Maybe I'll do a column. Yeah, doesn't have to necessarily cover the whole um, square. It can be a partial. Yeah, we can, we can go off the rails. We don't have to, there's something about Buddha in here, that's neat. Um, it can be like lower left corner because maybe you're gonna want to collage or do something fun over here. Let's just see. Okay, inking just a little to have some pop. I'll just I'll play with different ideas here to get your get your wheels turned and so and you can mass make you know hundreds of these one style and then move on to the next style and move on to the next style in front of the TV watching Jeopardy or you know Yellowstone whatever's whatever's going down at the moment okay to the corner to the corner to the corner to the corner all right and, and kind of get the edges of the rest of it and the other glue yeah okay that's the official official way to do it all right, I'm measuring as good as we can. Okay, and uh, oh, that's a lot. Maybe I'll take. I still have some pieces of that. That's kind of cool. All right, maybe I'm just gonna hand tear this. I do like a good hand tear. I do. It's it's very rewarding. I don't know. I mean, just a layer, just a layering of something like it's just a background. It's just a something. Nothing has to be overwhelming or crazy or heavily thought. It's just free flow gluing. So we're organizing. That's what we're doing. We're, we're getting things ready for the up and coming year so that we have things at the ready, grab and go. It really, it really does expedite journal making when you have your embellishments ready. Um, there's nothing wrong with making them along the way. That is fun too. I have done that. Um, but it, for, you know, if you want to make journals and practice making journals and try different techniques, there, there we go. We're done. Okay. So um, let's just, we'll just keep making these for a little bit. Um, I hope you're having fun doing whatever you're doing today. 
And, oh, this is kind of cool. I would like to maybe, maybe we'll do a sideways one. Can I get that whole American Birds on there? I think I can almost get it on there. There's my ruler. Um, now I'm going to tear this little page at the top. I love this. See, now to me, this is gold. I love the way it's naturally weathered at the top and old and dark. And I, I just, I'm going to use that in something wonderful at some point. So I'm going to save that wonderful piece. Or it's going to go in the scrap, crafty, scrap winner collection. And somebody will get that lovely piece. And if you see, maybe I'll just, oh, that's kind of cool right away across. And I could just, I could just take it all the way. So it kind of looks cool like that. Um, it could be nestled or it could be, well, yeah, let's, let's tear. Okay, I'll hand tear. I'm hand tearing here. She's going in. She's, yep, she did it. All right, does it fit? Barely, just barely makes it. Okay, that'll work, though. That'll work. All right, here we go. Corner. I'm going to have to get a new glue. Corner, corner, corner. All right, lots more glue. Okay. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, I could put it on an angle. That'd be cool, too. Maybe I'll do that. See? You could change it the last minute. Because it's yours. And and you can. You, you can do what you want with your papers. Just because Sally does it one way <laughs> doesn't mean you have to do it one way either. No, you can do it any way you like. And uh, I encourage you to, you know, push your envelope. Try little different things. Put things on an angle. I mean, sometimes that can just look cool the way it is. It doesn't have to be any more than that. Maybe I want to put one more thing just for fun. You know what I'm going for. Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? It is. Oh, there goes all my stuff. Yeah, of course, fall over. I'll come and clean you one day. I will. I no. I haven't left you, my my junk pile over here. I know you're here. I see you. Hi, Sunny. <laughs> Sunny's just looking up at me. Um, you know what, Mom? What on earth are you doing? Okay. This is a Aquarelle Stabilo pencil. It's a water soluble graphite pencil, and it's good for um, enhancing focal points to give them a little bit more pop. Let's say you didn't ink it, you don't have to ink it, but if you, if you wanted to give it some pop and you forgot the pop, you can just come in here with um, that and a Q-tip. Hang on, let me get the Q-tip. There it is. And a little water. And here's my cup. And this just gives it that grungy. So it just, it gives you that smudge, the smudge of it all. There you go. Oh, went off the rails. Yep, yeah, that's okay. It happens. It's early. You know, who knows? What, what am I doing up so early? Nobody knows. Okay. I'm going to have that. That's kind of cool, right? Okay, so we put that. That's done. So not heavy effort on any particular piece, but just giving myself a pile of little, like, small things that I can put in a little, like, plastic box or something. And then I've got all these little grab-and-goes. This is fun. So if you don't mind hanging out, let's just make some more. Uh, maybe grab your supplies. I'll wait. No, no, go ahead. Go get them. Um, I'm not going. I'll put the tea on. How about that while you find your stuff? And I'm here. Okay, that's going to be a nice contrast. Let's just keep going with this paper. I like this whole by Hedward Howe for Bush. Um, his brother was after Bush. I don't know. <laughs> but Mr. Forbush, you're coming with me. And we're going to put you on here because I think that looks kind of cool. Yeah, so your journal cards can also go sideways. They don't always have to go up and down. And you can cut, you can use um, these kind of scissors if you want to get pretty little decorative edges, or you can just tear like I'm doing. And, okay, well, North America will save you for something else because you're kind of a, a cool word. You could layer. All right, that's about there. All right, what do we got, what do we got? Okay, yeah, we can put you on there. I, I, I think, well, I ink, maybe just a little. I know, I'm a... Yeah, an inker, a light inker, here and there on little things. Sometimes fuss. It's time. It's fun to fuss. Occasionally, just fuss with what you're doing, and like give your embellishments a little bit of embellishment. You know what I mean? Like it's like having a tiny canvas to play on. I need more glue. Where's that little stub? Did I get rid of it? Oh, there it is. I think I can get one more out of here. Okay, I'll have to go retrieve some more glue, which I found where I stored it. I, have, I bought a bunch of Fabrifix. I can't find it. I think it's in the garage. Is that bad? I don't know. I'll find out. Um, here we go. All right, hang on. 
Okay, I walked all the way to the other side of the craft room and retrieved a new tube. <laughs> I know, it was a valiant effort on my part. Major cal caloric expenditure. All right, little sip of tea. Oh, this is a pretty little stamp. What, you want to come and play? All right. You may play today. Let's see, let's give you, this is black soot distress ink. Anybody's wondering? And I hope you guys are having fun. We are in 2023, thank goodness. Boom. Oh, that's pretty. That wasn't highly effective, but it, it's kind of there. No, I don't think the stamp's ever been used. Probably needs that second stamping thing. You know how the, like, the first stamp time you do it doesn't work so good, and then you do it again, it's better. Let's prove that wrong. Okay, yeah, not much better, but that's okay. So I just did a little accent there for some intrigue. And what else? Mr. North America, you want to go on there? Okay. Hey, we don't make don't make too much squawk. No, I, it's your turn. You're going in. Yeah, you know you were part of the page. I know, and you got cut off, and you felt like nobody cared anymore. I know you're just like cast aside. Um, I could do something like that. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So to make it look different from the back, now I should probably use black. Make it black. Okay, go around with the brown. Okay, where's the black dauber? Black dauber. Might have enough on here. Let's see. Oh yeah, totally. And brown and black together make nice aging, nice vintage, kind of piratey sort of old scrollish looking stuff. You know what I mean? And pop that on an angle, giving it a little bit of something. Maybe somebody knows who the famous Edward Howe Forbush is and his book on North America, right? Yep. Read it from cover to cover, I'm sure. No, no. <laughs> okay, I probably got it up. Uh, truth be told, truth be told. Okay, there we go. Just something fun. I mean, each one of these is a grand experiment for you to do with what you want. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so we're... No, is that, oh, that's kind of cool in there, isn't it? That does look kind of cool. I don't know, I kind of like it. So this is a coffee, uh, a Nicholas Sparks book. Um, it's a coffee stain page. Let me see what kind of... Oops, well, that looks kind of nice on that. What are idiomatic phrases? Okay. You want to know? An idiomatic phrase is a phrase that has a meaning that has a... I can't read. That has a meaning that is different from the combination of the usual or literal meanings of the individual words that make up that phrase. Um, well, I would have really uh, liked an example because... I have no idea what they're talking about at this point. Okay, so here we like that. Oh, so is it little, like these little grammar books, um, shorthand books, little interesting household tip books. Those are fun to put on these things. Now, this one I might put more at the top, just for fun. I don't know why. And um, it's a thinner page. Uh, it's th now, this is a great thing to do if you do have thinner pages, to mount them onto a page to give them a little bit more structure. So if you're wondering what to do with the thin pages, the crumbly pages, the pages that are like old and fracture easily, just mount them on something a little bit stronger than they are. And I think that will cure the day. And then you get to salvage and use those beautiful things. They don't just fall apart or crumble in your drawers and your boxes. Yeah. Okay, I'll put that one there. Okay, got the new glue. Okay, twisting up a little bit, going to the, got my corner, got my corner, got my corner, got my corner. All right, now it got me. All right, going around the sides. This a little more in the middle. Okay, it seems like a, okay. I'll put this down, put it at the top. There we go. All right, so that's pretty easy to do, right? Anybody can do that. And, we, you know, okay, so what else can we do? Maybe I'll take, um, see, I've got, I have a, I, let me show you, I have this box of rubber stamps there. And sometimes I'll just grab a box and I'll just work with what's in that box. Otherwise, I'm getting up and down a million times. Oh, here we go. There's a, somebody asked me just, they just asked me about a peacock. There's a peacock. I just, I found a peacock. I'm just letting you all know the peacock has been located. I think they asked me if I had a digikit of peacocks, and I don't, but that's a great topic, so I put that on the idea list. Yeah, so if you have ideas for digikits, um, I have over 195 now, I think, but if you have ideas, like, send them my way, because I want to know what you guys are interested in, too. Okay, here we go, so that should be good. All right, let's just try this. 
maybe I need my little foam spongy to get better relief. This is a little piece of foam, foam sheet, foam sheet. It's not foam board, it's foam sheet. Let's see if this does better. Well, not bad. Maybe not the darkest stamp in the world, but hey, we'll take what we can get. All right, that's kind of cool though. I like that, the way he's just swirling in there, being very, very peacock. All right, where's my pencil? My pencil again. Oops, and I think instead of going all the way around this one, I think I'm just going to do little corner edging as if I was photo edging this, you know, with those little photo ta tab thingies. You know what I'm talking about, right? Where the, okay, so now the Q-tip is gone, so I'm gonna to resort to finger smudging. There's my cup, very easily accessible supplies here. Always use your fingers when you can, except with toxic substances, don't, don't die. <laughs> All right, so just something like that. Just giving it a little blossom. Um, and obviously you can do more, but I, I like working with just little bases like this because then you can, you can just have some fun with it. So let's see what we did. Still have a, like a ton of these we can play with and um, a good way to like, now if I just want to sit down again, I've already got a stack I can play with. I don't have to cut them already because I've got a bunch cut. So we need this one, this one, this one. This one and this one. So, I mean, it went pretty quickly, very easily. No heavy difficulty, anything. Anybody can do this. I hope you have fun with it. And um, Sunben, are you, are you awake? Sunny didn't want to get up this morning. He was like, what on earth, mom? What are you doing? What, it's, not, <clears throat> it's not time, mom. The light is not with us. We, we should be sleeping. And the dog's got a little sleep face here. You want to you tell him what's going on? Yeah. Okay, you got something here. Good, good morning, everybody. It's it's an ungodly early hour, and I have no idea why Mom is up so early. Um, I'm not I'm not quite ready to face the day yet, but Mom says I am. <laughs> and um, um, uh, nobody gave me a coffee. No, no. <laughs> everybody got coffee for themselves. Sunshine was forgotten yet again. Um, so. I went back to my little bed and in the craft room and now I'm catching up on that sleep that I so much need. Mom, I think you should go back to bed too. I'm up now, son. I, I'm up and I'm rolling. This is it. Oh, 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 well, some of us would like to go back to bed, please. Okay, all right, I'll put you back to bed. Thank you, son. Happy crafting, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, okay, so for folks who are new, welcome. Uh, for folks who have been here, Welcome back. Um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. I have um, a podcast that come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. New audio material on the other days of the week or any day of the week. You can watch a video podcast on Spotify if you like. Um, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter where you get a free digital image emailed to you every month. A note from a bookmaker which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it. A checklist of supplies long to keep uh, your eye out for what, um, it's like seven or eight pages. Um, for what when you're traversing the world and you're looking for craft supplies they're everywhere i promise you um junk journal tips updates from me peeks at new digikits and more stuff so sign up for that newsletter if you have not done so and the links are all down below in my description box um i have an etsy shop if you like digital images and you would like um, a, um to buy sets of those. I have 195 different sets. You um, purchase them and then you um, print them out at home on your computer. Um, they come five pages each, all different themes, birds, Victorian, dragonflies, butterflies, celestial, tea time, baking, cooking, brides, you name it. There's all sorts of different um, themes and um, each of them has five pages with multiple images on each page. And if you don't have a printer or you don't like to print yourself, I will print them for you. I will um, print them out and send them uh, via pr U.S. Priority Mail. Um, all I need from you is the list of names. It's called the print and mail um, option. And just purchase that. You don't need to uh, purchase each individual digi kit. All you need to do is send me the list of names. I only need the first two or three words of each name. You can send it to Pam at thepaperoutpost.com, my email address, or you can just message that list to me directly in Etsy. Both will work. I have an Amazon shop, so if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies or links to those, uh, try and put everything I can find in there. Um, 
this does help my shop thank you very much but you do not may pay more for these items by using those links so uh, i also have a t-shirt shop so if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise you can get that on a t-shirt a sweatshirt a zip toady a mug a tote or a water bottle and you can find me on social media on instagram pinterest twitter linkedin facebook i have a facebook group come and join our facebook group it's called the paper outpost facebook group and we do weekly and monthly challenges to get your sparks of imagination going and i love to see what you guys make from these videos feel free to post that on there so there you go everybody um make sure that you remember fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon and i'll see you next time Bye bye